Hi everyone, welcome to the next Clara Markova video. Um, we've just got a handful of these left now, which is a shame really. I have really been enjoying them. Um, I hope you have as well. And today we just have this quite a simple um, leaf um, piece to do. Um, I am um, not going to um, do another one as well in this. I'm just going to do this one little bit. Um, I'm trying to keep them this one a bit short um, I'm sort of warming myself back up because actually I didn't do well I did five minutes of colouring yesterday it was very little so uh, I'm uh, got to warm myself up again into colouring so I'm going to start I think with the chrome green um, using the um, soft touch castle arts as we have done for all of this page I'm just going to start colouring yeah I was really busy yesterday so I Ended, I almost did no colouring and I know that I'd love to do a bit so just before bed I did five minutes. <laughs> that really wasn't very much. Now normally with a, a leaf pattern I will um, do it darker at the bottom of each um, leaf but Clara's um, shaded the tips so I'm going to do that instead. With the stem I was talking too much I've put more layers of colour here and here and we'll add a bit of another colour on perhaps. Perhaps. I'm still thinking through what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to fade this colour down the leaf. make it quite dark there. I'll just build it up a bit. We've got quite a line here and if you get that you don't need to worry because you can just smooth it out. Just add a little bit of colour below it and just smooth it down. Eventually it will just sort of melt away and if um, if you're still not happy um, once you add your next colour you can add another layer of this so you don't need to worry. And it doesn't need to look perfect. I always like a smooth transition of colour on my leaves and flowers. But when you look at leaves, they don't have that. They have a section like that. And then they might have yellow there. And there wouldn't be a transition of colour. It would be a complete swap to a new colour. But um, I just like doing it this way. And it doesn't look realistic. But hey, I just think it looks pretty. And this isn't really a realistically drawn um, leaf. And of course, if we look at the shape of these leaves, they're not flat. This bit looks like it's sticking up a bit. So really, it would be darker in there, a bit darker there. This bit would be lighter because it's higher. But I'm not worrying about any of that. I'm just keeping it simple and fun. As I say, I feel like practice because I only did five minutes yesterday. It sounds a bit silly. But we were busy. It was uh, had a fun day. My husband had the day off work. And um, my one son was off in the morning, but we abandoned him. He's okay at home alone. He's 16. He was getting on with some revision for a test he's got today. And we went to the kitchen showroom and had a meeting with the lady um, there, which was great. Two hours we were in the showroom, but we chose a lot of things. We made a lot of decisions. I was going to use another shade of... Um, I was going to use this one, the Terra Verde Green, but I think I want something a little bit warmer. I'm going to pop that away and just have a little look. Um, I don't know whether to go for a green or a yellowy brown. I think I'll go for a yellowy brown. Oh, excuse me. So we chose our sink, our draining board and that sort of thing. I'm going to try this yellow ochre light and see how well it blends together. If it doesn't work, we can add a green on top. But I'm just wondering whether it might just look warm and pretty. We'll see. It may look awful. <laughs> We'll see. So yeah, we had a meeting. So sink, we chose the cupboards we wanted, the colours, the sort of inserts in the cupboards. So some are having pull-out shelves and bits and pieces like that. Um, we sort of decided on how it was all going to be arranged. So that was good. And uh, we put down a very small deposit. You only have to pay £100. And then um, she will... I will get a phone call today, so the phone will probably ring um, from the fitters and they will arrange to come over to the house because they'll need to measure up. I'm happy with how this is looking, um, by the way, but if you're not, then uh, you can change it, change it up. 
Um, so they'll come around and properly measure and discuss some of the other bits that I need doing, like I want her new boiler and they have she's choosing a team that can help me. But let's have a look. Are we gonna I think I want to just add a transitional green. <laughs> it's a, what a strange little phrase I've just made up. I'm gonna try <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a silly mood. I'm getting all excited about my kitchen. Cadmium green. And I'm going to put this sort of in between so that it just blends together the green and the yellow a little more. I think it will just help. You don't have to do this bit. You might just be happy with how it is. I think it will just pull it together. Yeah, if you compare that leaf and that leaf, think about which you like the best. You know, you don't have to do it my way colour and look is all so personal and subjective that uh, you know we can't necessarily decide for somebody else what's going to look good for them but uh, yeah so it's all moving so I've contacted the water softener company um, to get in touch with me about that I don't know whether they need to liaise with the fitter or not, but anyway it's uh, it's coming along now I'm just going to straighten that up for a photo. I always take a photo while I'm talking away and and uh, finishing off. So so that's it for today. Just a small one, but um, I'm going to record a few straight after each other today because I just want to get on and do some colouring. So we're going to do this one for tomorrow, I think. Probably may not be. You'll have to wait and see. Um, but we'll um, there will be one from this page tomorrow. <laughs> Gosh, I'm in a very silly mood. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, I do hope you enjoy the rest of your day and happy colouring.